Hi everyone, it's me Emily. As you can see, I'm in the airport today because we are going to be going villager hunting. I have 100 Nookmau tickets. If I didn't find someone um, within these 100, I'm going to have to make a part 2 unfortunately just because I think otherwise it will be too long. So we have to hope we find one. The villagers I am looking for are Stitches, Mira, Sydney and Murphy. If you've watched my other villager hunts, you may know that I found Mira before. And I genuinely have no idea what happened. I don't remember letting her leave. I don't remember her um, switching for another character. So yeah, I don't know why she's not on my island anymore, but she isn't. So we're trying to refind her or any of the others would also be good. So let's get on with the video. I'm just going to be kind of clicking onto each island, showing you the villager so that hopefully it goes by quite quickly. And I think today we'll try and rank for villagers as we go. So we'll see what do I think of them? What are my thoughts and opinions? So yeah, these are the 100, so you can see them and I'll do the little check-ins um, throughout so you can see as they go down. So my first island is a peach island, which is cool because that's my sister fruit. And I found Annalisa, I'm going to give her like a 3 out of 10. Um, antelope isn't my favourite, not antelope, anteater. And then I found Yuka, who I was pretty excited about because I honestly thought she was Sydney originally, but yeah, she's okay, I think she's cool, she would be a 6 out of 10, good colouring on her. And then Bo, I'm um, sorry, not Bo, Eric, I can see Eric, he's really cute, but you will see I completely forgot to bring my vaulting pole, so thank goodness he wasn't one of the ones I was actually looking for, because that would have been very disappointing. And then I found Naomi who is so cool and unique. She is definitely maybe a 5 out of 10 for me. I just don't see an island where I would want her but I think she looks really cool. And then Sherb, honestly not a fan. I know he's quite popular but I'm not a huge fan of the goats in general. And I just don't think he's all that cute so maybe a 3 out of 10 for him. Feel free to let me know if I upset you because I disagree with your favourite villager or something. And then Vic, um, I, again I like the cool design but for me only maybe a 2 out of 10. And then I'm not a big fan of the frog villagers so Huck is going to get um, a 3 out of 10. He's fine, he's quite neutral I suppose. But yes, if I talk badly about your favourite villagers please don't feel bad, these are only ever my opinions. Um, I'm sure you dislike many of the villagers I have on my island. And then Bones is here. He's cute. He's a bit basic, but I would give him a 5 out of 10. And if I was doing an island where I wanted a dog, then I would probably take him because he's so cute. Um, not much to say about Al. Just going to probably give him a 1 out of 10 and move swiftly on. Not a huge fan of the gorillas. Now, some of the hippos are okay, um, there, there's a few that are okay, but Bitty is not good. I honestly think she could dress differently and probably probably look a lot better, but in her current form, maybe 2 out of 10 from me. And then Pate, who I think is so cute. If Pate was a different personality, I think I would love her, but the fact that she's peppy just doesn't make sense to me. I'm still going to give her a 6 out of 10. And then a chicken. Again, not one of my favourite animal types. I don't think I've ever actually had a chicken on my island. Um, yeah, I'd have to give her a 3 out of 10. And this mouse was one I hadn't really seen before, Samson. But he's fine, he's again quite plain, maybe a 4 out of 10, but I do think that a lot of the mice are very cute. And then who is this? I remember I really wanted her when I was doing my jungle court island. This is Claudia. Yeah, I think she's cool. I'm going to give her a 7 out of 10 for unique colours and just overall vibes. She looks really cool, but um, 
Not for my kid caught Ireland. She's not, she didn't quite make it onto the list, even though she'll probably work great. And then we had Sofalo Bot, who I adore. He's so cool, so unique. He would be perfect on Kid Call, but I think I'm going to save him for maybe in the future if I do like a Japanese themed island or something. He would fit in really nicely. Um, I'm trying to think of what the actual aesthetic is called because it's not Japanese, it's like City Core maybe. Um, yeah, and then a repeat. I'm going to not rank for repeats. But Cephalo Bot, when I saw him, he would have gotten like a good 8 out of 10. Um, I just didn't take him for this particular island. And yet again, we have Cephalo Bot, so I'm going to ignore him. And then Naomi, we had three repeats in a row, which is ridiculous, way too many. And then a monkey. I know some people hate the monkeys. I think some of them are quite cute, but Monty isn't my favourite. I'll probably give him a 4 out of 10 because I do think he's nice. He's just wouldn't be my top pick out of all of the monkeys. Nana is definitely my favourite mon uh, monkey and then Tian Shang. And this is Nan. Again, I don't particularly like the goat villagers. Probably a 3 out of 10 for her. I guess the fact that she's black makes her quite cool because she would work really well on a gothic island or something. And then Big Top is adorable. I think him and his little trio is it? Him, Kid Cat and then Agent S make great um, characters. I would give them probably all 8 out of 10. Unlike Sprocket here who gets again like a 1, I just don't like him. The hairs coming out of the back make me a bit uncomfortable, I don't like how they look and I just don't see a reason why I would invite him. Kind of same with Harry over here, he's cool, I like um, the Gruff Villagers but I just don't have a reason to invite him so he's gonna have to stay on about a 4 out of 10 for now for me. And Paolo is another awesome kid core option just because of the bright and vibrant pink but I just don't particularly want an elephant villager, they're not my favourites either, so maybe a 6 out of 10 for him. And obviously I am being biased by the fact that I'm doing a Kid Core Island um, for different themes, I might be more inclined to others. And this was Scoot, who I think is very very cute, he's a really sweet duck, lots of the ducks are cute, uh, maybe a 4 or 5 out of 10 for him. And then we have Robin, who is so unique, I really like her design, and I think she's a pretty cool um, snooty villager, but again, just not quite for me currently, but she would get a 6 out of 10 in my opinion. And then another ostrich, this was Cranston, I just don't love him that much, again with the kind of weird hairs on the back that I don't like, maybe a 3 out of 10 for his design. And then this is a pretty cool hippo, I liked this one, I think he looks cool. Biff, he's got a strong design to him, um, but I'd only, I'd only rank him at a 4 out of 10 probably. And then we have this um, kangaroo, Mathilda. I think she's cool. Um, if she was a gruff villager, like if she would be a boy and would be a gruff villager, I think I would like her a lot more. But I just, I don't know, I don't see a, re a reason to take her. And then this is Vic again. And then who do we have here? Another chicken, Plucky. She's actually quite pretty for a chicken. I think the pastel blue is really nice and the brown feathers look great. But only a 5 out of 10, I think. And then we have Octavian. Um, yeah, not one of my favourites. I just don't particularly like him. I would give him maybe a 2 out of 10. I'm just not a huge fan of red as a colour. And then the design, it just doesn't work for me personally. Rene, I'm biased to her because she was my sister's first um, starter villager, so maybe 4 out of 10. And then Tutu, who I think is quite cute. Again, maybe a bit basic, but I don't know. Sometimes the basic villagers are great and sometimes they're 
like that is not quite enough i would give her a five out of ten and then this horse is called alma um i i don't know i'm just not such a huge fan of him maybe three out of ten it just i don't know his design doesn't do anything for me and um, puck who i think is quite fun quite unique again i would give him a five out of ten he's interesting but probably one that I just don't ever see myself having on my own island. Zucker is another one that would probably be really cute for the um, like city core um, style. I would give him a 7 out of 10. I do like him a lot. And then again, Rafina, back again with these doubles. I wonder how many I actually um, had as repeats on this trip because it feels like a lot. Queenie. Um, yeah, 2 out of 10. I don't enjoy the feather bits. I don't know how to describe it, but those feathers coming out of their heads look so unnatural. And then we have another kangaroo. This is a really cute one, Sylvia. She would be perfect on my Kid Court Island. Yeah, I like her a lot. I think, um, colour-wise, she's good. Uh, you will see that the time changed, and that is to be expected within this video there will be quite a few time changes and that's just because I would pause to go and eat or pause to go out and stuff I think I'd dance on this day um Peck he's okay maybe three out of ten not my favorite but yeah so if a time changes that is why and then we had Biff again yeah he's okay same old Biff So up here, um, we have this guy, I don't know, I don't like him, Rattle, I think he's creepy, I guess if you were doing a Halloween island he would be okay, but yeah, I'm not a fan. I think I saw, I know he was popular um, when the game first came out because he kind of matched in with Covid and stuff. Um, Roscoe's cool, he can be a 5 out of 10. He's unique. He'd be good for a gothic island as well. And then another one of the ones that I really wanted when I was doing my jungle island is Tobolt. He's super cool. I'll give him a 6 out of 10. And look at this. I got him twice in a row. I didn't know that that was possible, but yeah, literally back to back islands, I had the same villager. So that was quite interesting. And then we had Fret. He's okay, again, just a quite simple, plain one. I'll give him maybe a 6 out of 10 for cuteness, but I'm just not sure that he would come to my island. And then we have Simon the monkey, who, I don't know, he's, he's unique, and I feel like I should like him, because if I like Kid Cat and I like Big Top, then why wouldn't I like him? But I just don't. Keaton, I really don't like. He can be a 2 out of 10. Whoops. Didn't cut that bit out of my video. And look, we are on 50. So that was half of my tickets. That doesn't feel right. I will say I struggled with editing this video. I will kind of go through and see if I miss some footage, but I feel like I haven't spoken about 50. And now I'm scared that I lost footage by accident. Um, we'll have to see. This is Elise. She's okay, but again, just not one of my favourites. I wonder if you can change her glasses. Like, if you gift her glasses, does she wear them on top of her current ones? Or does she change them out? Oh, okay. And then we have this pink goat here. This is Velma. Um, I, I like the idea behind her, I think. It's interesting, but just, she's not for me. I'm going to give her a 4 out of 10. And then I think this is Wayne. Oh, it's Walt. Okay. I think he looks so cool. One of the coolest male kangaroos. I'm going to give him an 8 out of 10. I think he's got a really interesting design. And then this mouse is Rod. He's cute and he's great for kid call because he's purple and stripy. So I really like him. But I already have Bocolo on my island, and Bocolo is just a little bit cuter, so I think I'm going to stick with him. And 
and then we have Angus. Um, just another one that I personally don't like too much, but I'll give him a 3 out of 10. And then we have Meringue, and I really struggled with her because she's so cute. I mean, she's like a 10 out of 10 villager for me. I love her. And I remember in New Look, uh, um, not in New Look, in New Leaf, I had her, so I was kind of, it's like reminiscing on the past of playing New Leaf. And she would work on Kid Core, but I think I'm going to save her if I do. I don't know, like a restaurant themed island or um, like fairy core, just something else which she's a bit better suited for. I really did try to stick to my dreamy list for this hunt. And then I came across Bertha who is another 1010 villager for me. I think she is absolutely adorable. She's another new leaf and she was my absolute favourite in new leaf. Um, she was so precious to me. So I was very excited to see her, but I had her on my previous island. She was on my jungle core island. And so I don't know, she just isn't right for this island, but she will come back. We'll meet again at some point. And then here we have Tipper, who's okay. I'm gonna give her a four out of 10. I realize I haven't been ranking a lot of these, but um, yeah, she's a four out of 10. Back again with another repeat. And then, oh my goodness, this section of a villager hunt was so hard for me because then I met Sly, who again is a 10 out of 10 villager for me. Sly was, um, he was my first New Leaf, um, not New Leaf, um, New Horizons villager. So when you get your two starters in New Horizons, he was, um, in, he was my first jock. And he is my absolute favourite villager in the whole game. I think he's adorable, he's so cute, he's so fun. But again, just not quite right. I think on my next island, I'll probably just get like my 10 favourite villagers. How many times have I seen this freaking hippo? Um, but yeah, I'll just get my 10 favourite villagers, like no matter what, um, ignoring theme perhaps. And then he can come back and join me again because I do miss him. Celia, another adorable one, um, she's so cute. Uh, my first island was Cottage Court and I had her on it and she lived by a library and she was just so cute, I really like her. And oh my goodness, see the scorpion, yeah, terrifying. I thought it would include me catching it but I find scorpions so scary, they make me jump every single time so I always get very nervous trying to catch it. But I was able to, thank goodness. So yeah, there we go. We got myself a scorpion, that's exciting. And then the actual animal on this island was um, Gladys, okay. She's okay, she's fine. She's a five out of 10, one that I'm just kind of non-fussed about. She, you know, she looks fine. And then this pig is really cute. I think she's very, very cool. She's Agnes and yeah, I think she's unique. And I am I think she's Uchi if I'm right. She's a Uchi slash sisterly villager, which is hard to find ones of those that I like. So I feel like she's a good option. Phoebe, super colorful and awesome. I adore her and I've seen her house and it's awesome. The whole inside is made of fire. She would be like an 8 out of 10 villager for me. I think she's really cool. And then we have Bud. He's okay. He's another one that I want to know. If you gift him, does he change glasses? Oh, and then this one. I struggled so much. This is Ioni. Um, I didn't know this. So when you look at photos of her, I don't know if you guys knew this, but she kind of glows. And I feel like I couldn't, I've never seen that on photo, so I didn't know that she would glow. But yeah, she's really, really pretty. And I was very tempted because I also know that she's popular and kind of people would like to see me have her on my island, I'm sure. But I don't know, I just, like I say, I'd already passed a lot of my favourite villagers. And for this hunt, I'm really sticking to my favourites, um, not my favourites, my dreamy list for Kidcore and then in a future island 
I will do my top villagers ignoring theme, but I have to be strong and just stick to my top kid core villagers. So I left her, came and met Gruff on the next island. So quite a dramatic change from Ioni to Gruff. And yes, okay, so this was Scorpion Island. I have never found one of these in my whole time of playing Animal Crossing. Um, you'll see I immediately got stung. As soon as I joined this island, I got stung. And yeah, it was scary. But as you can see, I was able to collect a whole inventory's worth of scorpions, which was so exciting. Because like I say, I have played Animal Crossing for, I think I got it in like the April or May. No, I got, it, I got it in May. So I know it came out in the March, I think, but it was in the May that I bought it. Um, and I've played it ever since and played it a lot. Like I know I start my YouTube later, but even now I have YouTube, I play it a lot outside of YouTube. Um, and I've never found Scorpion or Tarantula Island. So it was very, very exciting. And I really enjoyed um, just the way that kind of part of the game worked. So I had fun on that. And then we can see who did I find up here. Whoops, load on me. Um, what is her name? It's Ava. Okay, she's another cute chicken, but because she's a chicken, she's just not one that I would have on my island, but I'll give her a 5 out of 10. Yes, and then, oh my goodness, here was where I found Sydney, who was one of my dreamies. She was on my list, and I was so relieved because it had taken me a long time, and when I saw her, I thought she was Yuka again because I've seen Yuka a few times on this trip and I thought I was being pranked by Yuka again but this time it actually was Sydney and I'm absolutely going to be inviting her to my island. She is perfect for Kid Course. She is this beautiful shade of purple and she's so cute and I just know that she's going to have a great time coming and living with us on Tanga. So yeah, I'm very excited that I was able to find a villager. You'll see me just checking here because I couldn't remember whether or not I'd said yes for her to come and live or something. Yeah, like she took us several times of speaking to to actually ask to move, but thank goodness she did. So I was able to take her and it was very exciting. I was very, very pleased. So she's going to be living with us. I hope you were all pleased with this decision. Um, let me know who else should live on my Kid Court Island. You had my dreamy list in the beginning. But you can let me know if this is something that you disagree with. Um, of course, you have to try and get a commemorative photo of you and when you met them on the island because that's always a fun concept. And the villagers on these mystery islands never want to oblige me to take a nice photo. But I do get one eventually. So yes, I'm very, very excited for her to come and live with us. I think she's going to be a great fit. I hope you all are able to agree. And with that, I will see you all next time. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. See you next time. Bye.